Benjamin suggests the arrangement of a set of n objects is the number of permutations in which no element comes in its original position. Like we have some objects and we like to displace their position. We like to displace these objects from their original position. This displacement should be such that no object should come to its original position. The D arrangement of a set of n objects is represented by D n. Let us understand the concept like this thing. I have two objects suppose A and B. Uh, let us highlight this original position by this color and similarly for this these are my two objects A and B and the place is highlighted as their original position now I like to displace these objects A and B so I take B here and A here ok so now these have been displaced so and how many objects these are two objects so D 2 equal to 1 ok this is there is only one way in which we can displace these objects such that no object is in its original position like if I want to displace a single object T1 now I have only one object A so how can I displace it so D1 equal to 0 similarly for D3 let us look uh, what can we do with D3 uh, let me insert one more column. Uh, now, uh, here we have the third object as C. So, what can we do with D3? Can I do this? C, B, A. For three objects, can I? Consider it as a D arrangement. No, because C and A have been displaced from their original position, but B is still intact in its original position. Okay, and D arrangement means that no object should come in its original position. So this cannot be considered as a D arrangement. So we have to consider something else. Uh, here we have. B, C, and A. So, what can be the possible ways of B arrangement? They can be B, C, and A. Right? Here uh, we can see that no object or letter comes in its original position. Can I think of something else? Are there any more ways of doing this? Yes, we can have C, A and B. This is another D arrangement in which no letter comes in its original position. Can I think of something else? Uh, no, I don't think there is any other possibility or any other permutation in which I can displace all these objects. So there are only two ways. So D3 equal to 2. Similarly, you can memorize that for four objects it is 9. You can tabulate it for yourself. And for D5 it is equal to 44. So uh, we can have actually have a general formula to calculate the arrangement of n number of objects. It can go like this. The general formula is for n greater than 1. It is dn equal to factorial n bracket 1 upon factorial 2 minus 1 by factorial 3 plus 1 by factorial 4 minus 1 by factorial 5 plus up to minus 1 to the power n upon factorial n. This is the general formula by which you can calculate for n number of objects. And have to be greater than 1 in this case. Now let us consider a uh, question for further elaboration. The question is 
there are four letters and four post boxes. In how many ways can we post four letters in four post boxes such that, let us see the first part, only one letter goes in wrong position. So, it is actually asking me that only one letter goes in wrong position. Now, you yourself consider there are four post boxes and four letters. How is it possible that only one letter can go in the wrong post box? If three letters have already gone into the right post boxes, then I have, I'm left with only one post box, and that letter must go into the right post box only. There is no way that only one letter goes in wrong position. That is how I explain it theoretically. If you see by this concept, I have to dearrange only one letter. So that is D1 equal to 0. That is the answer. For the second part, now, two letters go in wrong position. Now, that is very much possible. Two letters can go in wrong position. First of all, I have to select which are those two letters out of the four. So, four, T, two, and then I have to see the D arrangement thing. So, it is multiplied by D, two, because only two are displaced from their original position. So, what can be that is factorial four divided by factorial 2 into factorial 2, remember the formula of NCR and what is D2? It is equal to 1, right? So, uh, what comes out? It, it, it is, so let us calculate further. Let us calculate factorial 4, which is 4 into 3 into factorial 2, right? And then we have factorial 2 into factorial 2 into 1, okay? So, what do we have? 4, 3, 12, and 4 into 3, 12, by 2 equal to 6. So, 6 is the answer. Then we have the final part that all four letters go in wrong position, which is 4 C4 into D4. We already know that NCN equal to 1 into what is D4? 9. So 9 is the answer. This uh, dearrangement thing is a very important concept which can be used in a lot of questions. They won't use the word dearrangement directly, but you have to solve it like that. 